Dear sisters and brothers, prior to our Honorable President's arrival, let's welcome the Honorable Governor of Telangana State, Srimati Dr. Tamilisai Sandar Rajan Garu, along with Honorable Governor of Himachal Pradesh, Sri Bandaru Dattatreya Garu, onto the stage. Dear sisters and brothers, we also have other dignitaries here in the world's largest meditation hall. Hearty welcome to Honorable Deputy CM of Telangana, Shri Mohammed Mahmood Ali Garu. Honorable Education Minister of Telangana, Shri Mati Sabita Indra Reddy Garu. Honorable Excise and Sports Minister of Telangana, Shri Dr. V. Srinivas Gaud Garu. Honorable Minister of IT and Electronics, Government of Uttar Pradesh, Shri Ajit Singh Palji. Member of Parliament, Mahbub Nagar District, Shri Manni Srinivas Redigaru. Collector of Ranga Reddy District, Shri Amoy Kumar Garu. Commissioner of Police, Cyberabad, Shri V. Sajunar Garu. And hearty welcome to other dignitaries. We now request our beloved Daji to present the memento to the Honorable Governor of Telangana State, Srimati Dr. Tamil Sai Sandur Rajan Garu. This memento is a special release during this Bhandara, a treasure which consists of five key books written by Babuji Maharaj and this is released as a beautiful book set of five books in acid-free paper which will stay for at least 100 years. Our beloved Daji will now present the memento to the Honorable Governor of Himachal Pradesh, Sri Bandaru Datta Treyagaru. Thank you, Daji, for presenting the mementos. The Honorable Governor of Himachal Pradesh, Shri Bandaru Dattatreya Garu, will now felicitate our beloved Daji.
Shri Ramachandra Mission was founded in July 1945 by Pooja Shri Ramachandra Ji Maharaj of Shah Janpur in honor of his Guruji Param Pooja Shri Ramachandra Ji of Fatehgarh, who was born on 2nd February 1873. Today, we are celebrating the 147th birth anniversary of our Adi Guru Param Pooja Shri Lala Ji Maharaj. Since those humble beginnings, within 75 years, the mission has spread to over 160 countries and over 4 million practitioners from all backgrounds and walks of life. Heartfulness is a heart-centered approach to life where you will ideally be able to live each moment by the heart. It is to live naturally, in tune with the noble qualities of a heart, enlightened and refined through spiritual practice. These qualities include simplicity, humility, purity, compassion, sincerity, contentment, truthfulness and forgiveness. Now, dear sisters and brothers, as we are celebrating the 147th birth anniversary of our Adi Guru, Param Pooja Shri Lalaji Maharaj, let me share few gems of our Lalaji. Knowledge is not an end in itself, merely a means to an end. He also said, a cultured tongue rules the kingdom of the heart. A good heart, benevolent feelings, and a balanced mind lie as the foundation of character. And another gem from Lalaji is, this world is a place of wonder and also a place of learning moral lessons. Today, as we are celebrating the 147th birth anniversary of our Adi Guru, Param Pooja Shri Lalaji Maharaj, I would like to share few things about him. Shri Ramachandra Ji of Fatehgarh was a great saint, sage and spiritual teacher who lived from 1873 to 1931. He is often referred to with great love and devotion as Lalaji. During his lifetime, he was honored and revered by many spiritual and religious groups and his training in both Sufism and Raja Yoga transcends cultures and spiritual systems and provides a revolutionary way forward into the modern age of spirituality. His profound scientific research in the field of spirituality led him to remodel the ancient system of yoga for the modern age. Dear sisters and brothers, we request each one of you to stand up and welcome our Honorable President of India, Sri Ramnath Kovindji, to the world's largest meditation center along with the Honorable First Lady of India, Srimati Savita Kovindji. I request everyone to stay standing for the national anthem.
We request the dignitaries on the stage to kindly take your seat and your sisters and brothers kindly settle down. A global heartfulness guide, the president of Sri Ramachandra Mission, a silent change maker, Sri Kamlesh D. Patel Ji, our beloved Daji, will now welcome our esteemed guest. Hearty pranams to the Honorable President of India and my very elder brother, Sri Ramnath Kovindji. My hearty pranams to Honorable First Lady of India, Srimati Savita Kovindji, our Babi Sri. Hearty pranams to Honorable Governor of Telangana, Srimati Tamil Salai Sundarajan. Hearty pranams to Honorable Governor of Telangana, I'm sorry, top Himachal Pradesh, Sri Pandaro Dattatreya, and very distinguished dignitaries. Hearty welcome to all. There was once a time where the whole world was agrarian. We lived only to cultivate things, produce crops so that we could thrive. There were so much of rivalries. People fought. Physical strength was a primary thing. Millennia has changed. So many things happened. We evolved to another level of mental development. Last one and a half century, this mental development has accelerated to such an extent that it is difficult to cope up with the acquisition of knowledge. We have tremendous information. Even the fifth grader is able to retrieve which an 80-year-old man cannot. He knows how to do that. Google it. With so much of information, there is a blessing as well as a curse. Fast-track technology is great, but if this information is not well utilized, how are we going to sensitize our children how to use this information wisely? This wise decisions, discriminative mind, sensitized hearts, they're all possible only through the heart, regulation of the mind. We all seek happiness. Even small creature seeks happiness. Smallest of the small seeks happiness, comfort. Yet it keeps eluding most of us. Backing of happiness is provided in a contemplative mind. Restless mind cannot enjoy whatsoever they may hold, whatsoever they may accumulate. In a contemplative, restful mind. And how can we arrive at such a restful and contemplative mind without focused mind? One moment you are thinking of some project, another moment you are jumping to a next idea, then another one. That's not focused mind. 
and cultivation of focused mind is possible only with the regulation of mind and this regulation is possible only and only through meditation so you can <laughs> connect the dots heartfulness is proud to offer this for few decades without a single naya paisa costing anyone it's free of charge we have not made yoga and udyog as baba ji was saying so proudly that heartfulness is the beginning of new era of spirituality and india our great nation can stand and guide the rest of the world on its foundation of spirituality not on religion on this wonderful occasion of 147th birth anniversary of pujya sri lala ji we are also completing 75 years of sri ramchandra mission as well as you can see the largest world's largest meditation hall under this such an auspicious and joyful event it has been further embellished by the presence of the president of great india i have known sri kovin ji since 2003 our first encounter was in the mountains himalayas satkol he had his first sitting in satkol in 2003 chari ji <coughs> initiated him to this sahaj mark paddhati and then the journey continues we are so proud to have him as our president his lifestyle when we observe in those days humble days his true nature is humility and simplicity no pompous no so off he just simple ordinary indian man he visited us in staten island our home there along with madam he again visited us in ahmedabad at our residence in usmanpura and often in manapakkam during his visits to master at manapakkam and many other locations like tirupur hyderabad as well lucknow as well so so we bumped into each other as abhyasis of this great mission and talked about quietly in the group walking around in the canteen you can imagine those carefree wonderful days when there were no protocols we have lost that freedom <laughs> we can't even hug each other properly before that no 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 you have to stop this okay thank you excuse me but that is part of life and we respect that somehow we bump into each other and again as i said it's a proud moment for us to have this kanha santivanam facility you will be seeing how you will be unveiling the plaque it's a new beginning for us every step is a new beginning so with few words i now conclude and welcome everyone on this grand grand occasion and enjoy the moments ahead thank you with all my heart thank you thank you daji for your insightful words of wisdom 
Our beloved Daji will now present a memento to our Honorable President of India, Sri Ramnath Kovindji. This memento is a special release during this Bandara, a treasure which consists of five key books written by Babuji Maharaj and is released as a beautiful book set of five books in archival paper which will last for more than 300 years. Now we request Daji to present the same memento book set in Hindi language to the Honorable First Lady of India, Srimati Savita Kovindji. Thank you, Daji, for presenting the mementos. We are delighted to welcome our Honorable President of India, Sri Ramnath Kovindji, who is here to celebrate the inauguration of Kana Shantivanam as the impressive headquarters of the Heartfulness Peace Movement. Now we request you, sir, to unveil a special plaque on the auspicious occasion of 75th anniversary of Sri Ramachandra Mission and inauguration of world's largest meditation center, accompanied by the Honorable First Lady of India, Sri Mati Savita Kovindji and our beloved Daji. We thank all the dignitaries on this stage for unveiling the plaque. And the moment we all have been waiting for is finally here, dear sisters and brothers. Our Honorable President of India, Sri Ramnath Kovindji, will now address all the 40,000 practitioners of Sri Ramachandra Mission present in this Bhandara and also millions who are watching this program live and on other social media platforms. Governor of Telangana, Dr. Tamil Sai Sondar Rajan, Governor of Himachal Pradesh, Sri Bandaru Dattatreji, Revered Master Sri Kamlesh Patel Daji Ji, thousands of Abhyasis assembled here from all over the world, sisters and brothers. I am very happy to be here on the auspicious occasion of the birth anniversary of venerated Lala Ji Maharaj, Adi Guru of Sri Ramchandra Mission. This is also a joyous occasion to celebrate the 75th anniversary of the founding of Sri Ramchandra Mission. I am glad to note that the mission has become a strong spiritual force with the presence in more than 150 countries across the globe. I remember to have read in a book dedicated to Chari Ji's birth anniversary that when Chari Ji joined the mission in 1964, 
the participation of abhyasis in the basant celebrations was only about 40 that is 40 today the number of abhyasis runs into millions i have been told that nearly 160000 visitors mostly abhyasis came to this campus from many parts of the world last year alone sisters and brothers spirituality is india's most precious gift to the world from the teachings of vedanta tirthankar mahavir and gautam buddha to the messages of nanak and kabir there is a grand flow of eternal spiritual wisdom which was transmitted to the modern world by swami vivekananda mahatma gandhi and many other exemplars of india's spiritual force today gandhi ji is revered all over the world for his message of truth compassion and non violence gandhi ji was essentially a seeker of spiritual truth he had once said and i would like to quote i am striving for the kingdom of heaven which is spiritual deliverance for me the road to salvation lies through incessant toil in the service of my country and my humanity unquote i am glad to see that sri ramchandra mission has been promoting both individual change as well as social change the mission is promoting the great ancient tradition of raj yoga meditation in the modern world sisters and brothers this campus kana shanti vanam presents a model of holistic living this expansive campus has lush green surroundings populated by five lakh trees this world class meditation center is a great place for spiritual rejuvenation the activities carried out here for the benefit of women farmers artisans and small entrepreneurs and the steps being taken to conserve and nurture the environment and biodiversity are praiseworthy i convey my appreciation to daji ji and all members of sri ramchandra mission for this new global headquarters which has been developed so beautifully i compliment the efforts for universal well being taken by the mission the noble objectives simple methods concern for everybody's well being promoted by the mission enables an ordinary person to achieve extraordinary levels of consciousness and also equips him to make exceptional contribution to the society around him as we all know sri ramchandra ji maharaj from fatehgarh of uttar pradesh fondly remembered as lala ji started this spiritual order it was taken forward by sri ramchandra ji of sahajanpur whom we respectfully remembers babu ji maharaj after lala ji and babu ji maharaj the great responsibility of nurturing and spreading the message of mission was shouldered by sri parth sarthi raj gopalachari ji or chari ji maharaj whom i always addressed as master chari ji passed on the master's mantle to sri kamlesh patel ji whom we all know as daji 
my deep and intimate association with sri ramchandra mission goes back nearly two decades i happen to know sri amar ji singh jan sevak who was also from my native place kanpur and also a minister at that time in up government in the year 2001 he took me to chari ji maharaj in the beautiful natural surroundings of the satkul ashram located in nainital uttarakhand that is what daji has also mentioned here daji ji you have mentioned the year 2003 but i remember it was most probably 2001 or maybe 2002 but anyway <laughs> chari ji gave me first sitting in that ashram later i had the privilege of receiving many personal sittings from him i often met chari ji maharaj at satkol and in some other places too whenever i met him he would affectionately ask me to sit close to him in master's presence i would always feel that he was working on my spiritual advancement even as we were engaged in routine activities like dining together that is how great masters are they take care of you without even appearing to be doing so in the year 2002 i had the opportunity of going to the united nations as a member of parliament to address the general assembly in new york before going there i spoke to chari ji and he asked me to meet mr kamlesh patel <laughs> the current master in the us that is where i first met daji it was a warm family get together as i was accompanied by my wife during that visit i have recollections of my visit to his house in america are still fresh in my memory i may share with you we had a dinner gujarati dinner <laughs> sisters and brothers once master chari ji wanted me to go to shah jahanpur and visit the residence and ashram of babu ji maharaj i visited those sacred sites thus in a very special way master chari ji linked me with his predecessor sri babu ji maharaj and also daji his successor <laughs> sisters and brothers in the indian spiritual tradition paramarth and parokar are interlinked seeking ultimate truth is linked to serving fellow human beings besides personal evolution the indian tradition of spirituality also focuses on the ideals of vasudhaiv kutumbakam and sarve bhavantu sukhna for us the entire world is but one large well knit family we seek happiness for everyone on the planet this message of universal happiness of the global family is the message of the masters of sri ramchandra mission also in his illuminating book designing destiny the heartfulness way daji refers to a letter written by babu ji maharaj addressed to the united nations 
way back in 1957. That letter was on the subject of world peace. In that letter, Babuji Maharaj had highlighted the method for bringing about the upliftment of the entire universe. Babuji Maharaj had suggested that everyone should sit daily with the thought of all people of the world growing peace loving and pious babuji maharaj laid emphasis on the virtues of moderation and simplicity hence i would like to quote babuji maharaj i quote one of the essentials in the making of a man engaged in a spiritual pursuit is moderation it is a very wide term and covers every phase of human activity it means balance in all senses and faculties nothing more or less than what is naturally required at the time for any specific purpose unquote sahaj marg is the natural path of moderation and balance simplicity is an important aspect of moderation simplicity to the point of living life with minimum expectations minimum needs and minimum impact on the environment babu ji had said be simple live simply and think simply on the theme of simplicity i am reminded of chari's reference to the good social work done by some ngos active around his satkol ashram he had especially appreciated some very rich people in those ngos who adopted very simple lifestyle chari ji wrote and i quote and there were very big people rich people now be the vision and that vision demands that they are like gandhi with minimum clothes minimum food and minimum housing is this a rule that to produce the maximum you must be minimum i suppose it must be unquote daji has continued the great tradition of the previous three masters and it is so heartening for the sri ramchandra mission family to see him spreading the great message of the mission farther and wide he always adheres to the same principles of global well being which the earlier masters espoused in fact daji has written with great clarity on the idea of upliftment in individual consciousness as a key of global betterment in a world full of anxieties uncertainties insecurities and hostilities the responsibilities of organizations like sri ramchandra mission have increased manifold they can provide the reassuring touch of a healer in order to effectively play the role of a healer every abhyasi has to continuously work for his own improvement here i must refer to the one of the five principles of designing destiny explained so clearly by daji he says that to design the destiny of human being we start with ourselves first and then expand our radius to include others a day will surely come when together we are capable of changing the direction humanity is taking unquote sisters and brothers in order to change the direction of humanity we need to take on board larger and larger number of young persons and engage them in the endeavors of building a better world i am confident that the number of people visiting this new headquarters 
of Sri Ramachandra Mission will keep growing. Here, they will be able to fulfill their urge to make themselves better individuals. I am also sure that the global community of the mission will contribute towards making the planet Earth a better place and transforming humanity into a better community, full of positive energy and happiness. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you, Honorable President Ji, for your kind words and thank you so much for sharing all your memories with us. Dear sisters and brothers, we request everyone to stand up for the national anthem. We thank all the dignitaries and VVIPs for being a part of our celebrations. It was indeed a pleasure to have all of you with us this morning. With this, we conclude the session. Our special guests will remain in the campus for some more time, so we request everyone to be mindful of their presence and leave the hall in silence. I repeat, with this we conclude the session. Our special guests will remain in the campus for some more time, so we request everyone to be mindful of their presence and leave the hall in silence. And also there is an announcement, dear sisters and brothers. Next satsang will begin at 5 p.m. We request all of you to gather here at the meditation hall by 4.30 p.m. Thank you. Agla satsang sham panch baje hai. Ab sabhi log char bajkar 45 minute tak meditation hall mein a jaye. Next satsang saayantro aidu gantla ki aarambha hoto nandi. So naalu gantla nalabai idu nimshalaku. Leda naalu gantla muppai nimshalaku. अंदर वी इकर्चुटे नैक्स्ट सत्संग मन आरंभ धन्यवाद वि थैंक आल दिर् सिस्टर्स एंड ब्रदर्स फर् युर को विथ अस् थैंक यू वन अगे
Dear sisters and brothers, our special guests will remain in the campus for some more time. So re we request everyone to be mindful of their presence and leave the hall in silence. Please. We request all the sisters and brothers to be mindful of the presence of our special guests and leave the hall in silence. Dear sisters and brothers, can we maintain silence while leaving the hall? It's a humble request. Thank you.
Subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel.